Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Sock here. Today I am bringing you guys my week two game for the NBA. I am extremely cold as just after playing this as my hands were shaking. It was a great game. I think you guys should leave a like before you even see it. It is that good. And if you guys are wondering what the hell I'm bringing, make sure you check out yesterday's team builder. And if you want to see what a hat's bringing, aka my opponent this week, his link will be the first link down in the description below. So make sure to check him out and see what the hell he brought. Because he uploads his team builder and game in one. So all you only have to really have to do is kind of watch his side, then watch my game, and you can kind of understand kind of the plays we were making. So, uh, looking at his team, I see no Heatran. I see no Celestila. I see Gliscor having a field day. I see Ash Greninja getting one kill and then pressuring his entire team. So... I chose to, I think I let off Gliscor. Nope, I let off Greninja. As with this, I am able to get a safe U-turn off because I am Scarf, as he does lead out with him on top. Uh, seeing this, I'm gonna guess he's probably gonna wanna go, I wasn't really sure what he's gonna do. Maybe he was gonna like mock punch or something, so I was just fine with getting a little bit of chip damage off as he uses Fake Out. I don't mind this, I clicked U-turn anyway. He's gonna click Detect, revealing two moves already, and I'm gonna hit the U-turn, so I'm locked into U-turn now because of the because uh, I already used one of his PP. So I am locked into U-turn, but he doesn't know this yet. So he detects, sees that I do have U-turn, and he's already revealed two of his moves. So he's I'm going to U-turn again. He's going to get off a nice chip, 5%, as I'm going to go right into Rocky Helmet Garchomp. That Earthquake's going to do literally nothing. As on this detect turn, I, yeah, I click Earth Power, predicting him to want to switch out into maybe... So I mean, to the likes of Lantern, because that would take me off extremely well. Uh, that that kind of is what I'm looking for to be his Garchomp answer, along with maybe Zygarde. As goes right into his Archeops on my Stealth Rock. Just kind of, uh, Stealth Rocks are just a general play, just to kind of get him up, wear his team down. His Rapid Spinner is Hitmontop, which I did recognize right at Team Preview, unless he's running Defog, Beedrill, the best set of all time. Uh, he's going to rock polish up as I knew that I couldn't let this thing set up. And this was my answer for it in the first place with Rocky Helmet Rough Skin Max Defense. Uh, I hit with the Dragon Pulse as 38%. I know whatever he does, he's going to get himself into defeatist range. And my Dragon Pulse will hopefully kill. As he's just going to rock polish again to get the plus 3 speed setting up on me. As that's going to pop, it's going to pop his Citrus Berry and bring him back up to 47. That Citrus does not bring him up to full. So defeatist means his attack is halved. So essentially, it's a will o wisp on himself. So that Dragon Pulse was key there. Uh, he's going to Acrobatics, do 19. Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet brings down to 16. Dragon Pulse for the KO. And Garchomp has his first kill of the season. As uh, this thing comes out Lantern, I was guessing this would have Ice Beam. So I knew I'd have to switch into something that could tank it. Probably, uh, I'm not quite sure what I turned into. Oh, I uh, went into the Bosch. I went into Nihilego on the Ice Beam. 12%, no freeze, thank you. Uh, I see he's leftover, so I'm guessing he's bulky variant. That critical hit is 52%. So by that, I know he is a he has a shenanigan ton of bulk on him. As he bolts, which is getting on out of there, which is really nice for me because I can still keep my scarf intact. Tech support comes on in. As I'm gonna go right out into my uh, Gliscor as he Zen headbutts. Then uh, doesn't matter really because I did activate my Toxic Orb, so now I can't, doesn't matter if I'm knocked off. He goes right into Hitmontop, as I believe I taunted him because I didn't want the Virizion going for a setup because my I was one point higher than a, jo than a Jolly or Timid Virizion. Um, he fakes out here to get the chip damage off. I flinch, but thankfully Poison Pump heals me back to full. So he took a turn to heal me. What a nice guy. He goes right into Zygarde here. As his aura breaks, and I'm going to U-turn into something hopefully going to kill. I go right into my Infernape because I know I can outspeed this by one point, will o -Wisp it, and effectively neuter it. He goes right into Hitmontop as I do will o -Wisp this, I believe. Yep. As he goes back to full, and I burn damage. So I'm going to come back right back onto Gliscor because it seems like, oh, look, all three of his moves are already there, such as the Toxic, the Detect, and the Fake Out. So all three of those moves are revealed. So I'm thinking Gliscor is a pretty good answer to this, unless he has Ice Punch, which I'm guessing he doesn't buy. He's been using Detect, so I uh, throw an Aerial Ace just to get some chip damage off. It can hit Beedrill, it can hit Verizion, or hit Montop. 
He's going to go right into Lantern. As I U-turn. Crit. Does 28. I'm going to go right into Greninja. I'm going to get uh, this U-turn. Uh, I calc it. It does 19% uh, min roll. So that's if he's not invested into HP at all. So I U-turn here. Get my kill. All of a sudden, I am Battle Bond Greninja. As boom, eye setting has reached his true power. Now Lego comes in as I switch in. He's Scarf, and that Leaf Blade doesn't kill me. And goodbye Verizion on a crit slurp wave. So it's he's already down 3-0, and I still have a couple mods in the back. I still have a full reunit list in the back. Greninja's looking pretty nice. His Ash form already. It's looking really nice here. As my Nihilego is already at plus one special attack and Scarf. Uh, I'm fearing this right away. The Mega Beatrice, so I'm going to go right into my answer for it, which is Rocky Helmet Garchomp. He U-turns us 36, so I know he's very, very much invested into attack. Just not, uh, even if he already has 150 in it. Uh, rough skin Rocky Helmet damage adds up. He goes right now to hit him on top. And, I believe, I'm not quite sure what I did on this turn, actually. Um, oh, I go to Gliscor on the fake out. Thankfully, it doesn't do enough for me to really care. Uh, it's just kind of a waste of turn. He goes right into his uh, Zygarde. like, as I aerial ace this, I knew when he brought this in, he was going to go for game. So I knew I had to click U-turn here. I clicked the cancel button four or five different times, continuously clicking U-turn, cancel, U-turn, cancel, U-turn, cancel. Because I damn well knew that he was just going to straight set up here. I see Dragon Dance. I was fearing my life. Okay, I clicked U-turn. We're good. I go right out into my Ash Greninja. His Extreme Speed does 55, but I'm living in Ash Greninja. Gets a crit through the Yachi Bear to kill. <laughs> so bad, dude. So, with two mods left, the Milwaukee Bears are looking super strong right now. Hit on top comes on in. I'm going to switch this right out in my Gliscor as he reveals us a fake out again. And I know I can wall this thing indefinitely. Because I aerial is here, does 39%. He earthquakes and reveals it. So that is his last move, and I completely wall this. I'm just going to aerial ace here for 37%. He's going to earthquake again. He's going to detect here on this next turn. Trying to stall out more of my PP. There's the detect. There's another aerial ace. Because it doesn't matter. It kills Beedrill if it comes on in. So Gliscor putting in the shenanigans on of work. He gets a double detect, which is pretty alright. Uh, it's, it's interesting, interesting, interesting. So he detects for the third time. Fails. There's aerial ace. 6% gone. And last but certainly not least is Beedrill. I need to preserve the 6-0. So I'm going to go right out into my Garchomp. As Poison Jab resisted 18%. Rough skin, Rocky Helmet gets the kill, and your Milwaukee Beware's come back week two, and we are amazed at one and one with a plus two differential, six owing hat. I do recommend you guys go check out because this does not always happen. Hat's actually a very competent battler, and we lost to him last week. And Ethan's pretty good as well, who we faced this week. So do check out Ethan because even though we did six zero him, he is really really good still, and I bet he will still win a couple more matches in this league. We just had everything go our way from the two crits that we had to kill, and it was very critical matches, you could say. So, with all in all in that, I think the Milwaukee Beavers came out pretty well today. And with that, I think I'm out. Deuces, fam.